So the video is talking about the uh, transform the geometry from the local coordinate systems to global coordinate system. So first of all, um, I will reference the uh, the local coordinate system uh, files. So there's um, I will using a reference called Instant Worlds. Reference it. And in this coordinate system, they already have the some of the control point with the from the local survey point to the global uh, x y eastern northern point. So I will try to use a uh, few of it to use it later. But in the very beginning, tools is in geometry, and then you will see the transform here. So what you need to do is to make your required alignments becomes the um, required uh, geometry first. So that's why it is reference files. I copy the files here. So just simply copy it. So this is the alignment I want. So I just uh, using a level display. I just uh, want to display only. I just need this one. Okay, and, and turn it on. And then I want to create in the geometry. So I just select it as uh, using a feature definition here. So I give uh, some alignment if you need it. But it is not able to use because they are not yet uh, becomes the uh, it's in reference. So you may need to copy it run here. So I just simply reference and copy here. And done. Now it is not um, geometry yet. You can also try, to, I will deselect something that I don't need it. So in this case, I just uh, did some of the uh, annotation from the old drawing. You can, uh, you don't, you don't need to have this one here. So and also, uh, I will also just turn it off. Then you will have this, this of the files here. Okay. So now, um, you can create as a simple uh, elements. So you can see that on, and then click to uh, geometry, and make sure you can using a uh, create simple rule features, and select the feature definition and accept. So what happened is uh, it will change to simple geometry with the um, you can see with the parametric simple elements the rule elements here now, and then you can uh, try to make it becomes alignment if you want. Uh, but if you click automatic, you will find um, there may be some problem with this one. So I just try automatic here. Give the end, then it fix here. So if you zoom in, maybe this graph element is not like you can see here. So you either can fix it or you just ignore it in now. But I just want to create it becomes alignment. So um, I'm just using menu. See that one by one here, so that I keep uh, after the transformation, I can still keep using it. So I just create it. So uh, now it is a single geometry. Do the same things with the other ones with menu. So I can also uh, you can also uh, imagine it is not also, also not correct. Please give the direction. Okay, now it is fixed here. So this is one alignment. It is uh, another alignment here, which can help us to do it later. So now the next moving is uh, I will turn it back, and then uh, I want to see the table for the transformation ideas. So I just go back to uh, move all the point here. So you will find. There's some coordinate I want to use. So I recommend you using about like a six, uh, sorry, there's a three points along the alignments. Don't use in the single area. Because it's transformation, I will evenly distribute it along the alignments here. So I will try to use a YT1. So I will record this um, uh, value if you need it. Uh, YT2, YT6, sorry, YT6. And also YTA. So in this files, what I'm going to do is I will uh, paste this 
uh, fee control point. So I using the tools just go to the drawing paste point, and then I change a little bit about these values, and I using key in. If uh, you know, so I will using x y equals to. So I just see that here. Enter. So it should have one point generated here. So it should be yt1. So I just uh, place yt1 in case. So just pay yt1. Later I will see that one more times. So I just see that yt1 here. Okay. So and then I will continue to do yt uh, another. So now you can see I got a fee point here. So yt one six and eight. So what I'm going to do is I need to uh, pair up. I need to pair up about the point to with the drawing with the control point in the alignment here. So what I'm going to do is I turn on back all the drawing, and then we go to the geometry, and then in the geometry that's called transform transform. So in the transform, you can click this dot, and then you will go to somewhere as called transform manager. So in the transform manager, you can create new first. So I just give the name here. So it is a transform. You can uh, change the name here, and then you will see there's uh, something you can call pair up the point here. So you can click here and set here, call um, add point pair. So after you click add point pair, so you will say select from point from point. So I go back here and select back yt one here. So it is yt one. Select it and then select two points. So I in view two, I just turn on view two. I pair here. Accept. Then it will funnel the from point to where. So as I recommend, you need to have at least um, three points, three points. So I go to YD6 here. So YD6, so you can continue to add pair. So you can see, you can see it's YD6. From point, so select from point, and then see. Okay, see that one more time to so make sure it's on. So you will see that here, from point, and then you will go back to view to two point. Okay, so see that continuous, see that from point, I see that the uh, eight, number eight. Select from point and select two point. Of course, you can give more, it doesn't matter, but I will recommend at least three point here. So remember, save it, and then you can you can change the name or whatever that later you can you can uh, rename it, you can uh, copy it to use. Okay, it doesn't matter, so uh, you can uh, change it, you can edit it all the times. Uh, try to save it now after you uh, set this point okay you can uh, just turn it off and back to the alignment here so let me just toss to point here so what you're going to do is now you have uh, the alignment here so i go to geometry and then i will click transform so in transform select the uh, the information i use Okay, and then you will see, uh, you can see that whether you want to copy or you want to enable transform labels, you can uh, enable elements, rotate, and also scale if you need it, or just uh, do it like here. I don't need scale. Then you will see identify elements. So identify elements. Then you will see it will come here. Accept. Identify elements. And come here. Accept. So I using rotate and move and also uh, rotate. You can use scale and etc. 
But at least now I uh, rotate the points to the correct one here. So it only rotate the alignments here. So that's how it works.